Photoshop is one of the world's most popular image manipulation programs, but it comes at a pretty hefty fee. My name is Yadullah. You are watching Candid.Technology and in this video, we are talking about the free Photoshop alternatives you can try today. Now, anyone who's looking for a Photoshop alternative should first try out GIMP or the GNU image manipulation program. It used to be very complicated, but now it's very easy to uh, use and download. You can get it off the Microsoft App Store on Windows and uh, it's also available on Mac OS and Linux as well. Uh, once you open it, as you can notice, the interface is slightly different from Photoshop, but let me just load up an image and uh, we will get right into it. So uh, as you can see, my image is open. I have all of my selection tools here. So fuzzy select tool, lasso select tools, cropping, uh, transform tools, all of these work in a very similar manner. They even have the same shortcuts as the as Photoshop does. So your muscle memory from shortcuts, uh, if you have developed one in Photoshop will also transform. You get your uh, general selection of tools. So the clone tool, the smudge tool, uh, paths to create path, text tool, color picker, paint bucket fill, paint brushes, and uh, rectangular selection tools. Everything is available in GIMP as well. There is a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to this program. Uh, so as you can see, I have some brush, interesting brushes that are not available in Photoshop by default. Uh, it also follows the same layer based uh, system that Photoshop does. So let's say if I were to add a piece of text, um, let me say this is this is some text. This is currently black. So I'll change it to white so it's visible. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the interface is actually slightly better than uh, Photoshop, depending on what exactly you're looking for. Uh, Photoshop is also a pretty heavy software. So a lot of people using Photoshop have problems with using it uh, or if their PC can't support it, Jim addresses that issue. So you don't have that problem with Jim. Uh, just put that into its place and select and move the text around. So yes, you can do that. You can use the transform tools. Yes, the Unify Transform tool. And as you can see, I have some, I have a lot of control over how I can warp my text or place it along a line, uh, you know, increase the scale, increase the keystoning, bring it up or down, or just generally move it around in the viewport. And this works with everything else. So let's say if I were to use a brush, um, and uh, okay, let's use this brush. Uh, we don't need a filter and color I will select as red. Okay, and we should be good to go. So yeah, uh, things like these. So this only works in this selection because as you can see, it doesn't work over that image. So it also is a very non-disruptive uh, non program when it comes to editing your images. Uh, once again, there is a bit of a learning curve just because some tools and uh, some functionality translates to how Photoshop works. That doesn't mean it's also going to work the same way. Uh, let me just add a new layer. And uh, so, yeah, this is something that you will have to keep in mind when working with Jim, that it is similar but very distinct from Photoshop in the way it functions. So it does have a rather steep learning curve, but that learning curve pays off really well if you decide to stick with the program because it's a wonderful Photoshop alternative available for free and in open source. If you're looking for a Photoshop alternative to paint, Krita is one of the best options you can use. So for example, let me load up an image here. And as you can see, the interface is actually very simple to Photoshop. The navigation is also easy. You use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, hold the space bar and drag around with your mouse to move across the canvas. And uh, as you can see, all of your regular tools are available here. So gradients, color pickers, smart patches, 
colorize masks and close and fill all measuring tools for distances reference images different shape selections pan tool and of course text edit shapes and calligraphy now as i mentioned before krita specializes in painting so all of the brushes and the calligraphy tools that you have you will get a lot of different options so for example if i were to use this brush and run a stroke you can see uh, wait, let me make the color a bit more prominent for you to see so as you can see different brushes have different types of strokes and this is really a tool that you would want to use with a stylus or a touch input of sorts to get you the best painting options available this is also a good alternative for procreate if you're into drawing and would want something of a windows alternative but other than that you can also edit your images in here with just as much ease as possible in fact the text editor in krita is far better than photoshop so for example if i draw a text box as you can see i have a lot more options and a dedicated window to work with so uh, let's enter some text here you can also add an svg source uh, if that's what you want if you're trying to make text for the web this is very good because it helps your design be seo friendly but for this example we're just going to go ahead with regular text so this is a placeholder of course the text is in red because my selected color right here is also red uh, you can add styles make it bold italic underline increase the font size uh, change the color if that's what you want so let's make it yellow and uh, change the font as well so let's make this railway that's not railway yeah make this railway once again bold and italics all available click save close this and your text will be available right here uh, same as photoshop you can drag it around rotate use it however you want and add all of your effects there is a little bit of a learning curve here when it comes to krita uh, because it may look like photoshop but all of the different tools and different settings are in different places so you will have to go through the Krita documentary the link for which will be in the description below but once you give it enough time it's actually a great alternative to use moving on we have PixelR, which is an online photo editor which is, and also doubles up as an ai image generator with a bunch of ai design tools so as you can see i have the editor i have an ai photo editor which is PixelR express you get pixelr designer for templates and animations you can remove background using ai and you can bulk edit photos so all of these are different tools which are combined into one comprehensive platform if we have other features such as ai face swap background removal object removal touch-ups generative expand where you can just pull an image and it'll automatically fill in what needs to be done so uh, you will have to log in here and it does have a paid tier to it which holds most of the feature but uh, let me just start with the pixel art editor here to give you an example all right uh, okay i don't want to see that so let's open an image or rather let's generate one and uh, we can work with that so give me a red sports car at a gas station wants us to log in so let's quickly go ahead and do that once you've logged in you'll be redirected back to this page so we'll enter our prompt again at a gas station uh, you can select your styles compositions and all of this is very easy to make because you get options to choose from so i can select volumetric lighting i can have a wide angle composition I'll leave the colors be and I'll give it a photographic style and you can also change the aspect ratio. So let's go with five. Um, you get 12 generations or 12 credits. Each credit is taking four credits. Each generation will take four credits as you can see here. So I can generate three images out of this. Let's go ahead and do that. Give it some time. As you can see, it's generating four different options for me. So we'll wait for this to finish. So as you can see, it has some really good generated images for us to start working with. I like this one the best. So we'll go ahead and start working with this. As you can see, we have 
cover image, edit image, remix and download options right here. So I'll go with edit image and this should open in the PixelR Express editor. This is the main editor where we can work with all different sorts of features. So I have a range. So in case I've got multiple layers on top of it, I can do that. I can crop the image to fit. I can adjust it. So I can bring up the vibrance, bring up the saturation, make the image a little cooler, add a little bit of a green tint adjust the hue and saturation as well and then all of your general image settings are also available here let's add a little bit of a vignette okay and then we have effects so a lot of these online image editors give you quick effects to work with so let's see what we have i think an urban effect this would go very well then you have your filters, so HDR filters, bokehs, reflects, uh, AI tools, which can generative expand, fill, face swap, and all of this is available for free. So this is a really, really good tool to use if you're kind of stuck in Photoshop and want something that's a free alternative, which also comes with tons of AI features. Next on the list, we have Photop. Now this is a very powerful online image editor that allows you to work with Photoshop, AI, uh, so, AI files, XD files, Figma files, Auto Sketch 3Ds, PDFs, and RAWs as well, and your general selection of image files such as JPEG, PNG, and so on and so forth. You can see a list of compatible files down below. So let's let me upload a file from my computer to show you how this works. Go to pictures, screenshots. Do we have something here? Okay, let me just upload this image. All right, so as you can see, uh, it works on ads. Uh, it's detecting I have an ad blocker, so this space is kind of wasted. But as you can see, this is a very similar interface to what you see in Photoshop. You have your transform controls. They also work the same way as you would in Photoshop. It has automatic snap as well. Your lasso tool, which is for selections. So lasso, magnetic lasso, if you want to select an object let's say i press alt and scroll down and i want to select this object as you can see the tool automatically clips to the edge of the object that i'm trying to select this isn't perfect uh, that's also because the image is quite low res but as you can see this is very good for some quick selections and i can just clip and move that object just like you would in photoshop there is also the magic wand tool which again works just like the Photoshop tool does. So you just click an object, it selects it. We have a spot healing tool. Once again, same thing as Photoshop. You select a spot and you can use it to control other things. We have a brushes, clone tools, erasers, gradients, blur tools dodge so this isn't quite as powerful as let's say photoshop would be but for a free image editor that works online and doesn't require you to log in photo p is a great great alternative last but not least we have adobe express which is an online photo editing suite from photoshop it's free to use all you need to do is just log in with your adobe account or with any other account that you have uh, once again, it also has a premium suite, but most of the features are available to use for free. Uh, as you can see, uh, I can generate QR codes, convert images, resize, edit PDFs, even edit videos and resize them, uh, remove backgrounds. So let's start with an Instagram. This also works very in a very similar manner to Canva in the sense that you have a lot of templates to work with. So let me start with my own content and I will upload uh, the same image that we have been working with. Uh, as you can see, it will upload your image, analyze it and uh, look for any templates that it can suggest you. So I think we're good enough. So we'll just start with 16 by 9 landscape. And now we are in the editor. So uh, it has some generative fill and uh, erase features, remove background, so you can select a subject and eliminate the background for it. Let's try the remove background tool here. So yeah, as you can see, it detected the object, which was my gun in this case, and cleaned the background rather accurately. 
so now i can resize it and i have my gun ready now i can also either revert this tool or um, i can change the background color there are themes so there is generative fill as well um, of course you need to agree to some terms for to use this uh, which is going to let that be they have some generative AI guidelines that you can go through um, other than that you get text so a bunch of text uh, templates that can be used with the tool uh, uh, like canva you have elements that you can bring in and edit with you have grids for creating quick photo results and then you can quickly bring in add-ons so you can connect to your google photos account you can uh, have uh, ai animations and uh, other add-ons like charts mock-ups arranger music so this is really uh, more of a all-in-one online photo editor kind of space uh, it does serve as a very quick and easy replacement to photoshop with a lot of features some of them are behind a paywall most of them are available for free but if you use if you need to quickly get something done where you need to apply an effect or you know make some adjustments to the photo for example let me drop down the contrast and the brightness on this so you see this better and as you can see with just a little bit of tuning i can really bring out this image change the saturation change the hints in the tuning i have my details in here as well and then of course you can also animate according to your requirements so this is in a sense a lot more powerful than photoshop thanks to all the generative ai features and they're also available to you for free once you're done with with your image you can either invite people to work with you on the design or you can just go ahead and download it in whatever format you like if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you want to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video